going to show you guys today how my husband and I came up with a brilliant idea of a homemade dust extractor very similar to the Valentino. So if you've been on the hunt for a dust extractor that works, stay tuned. Hey there everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys my new and improved um, dust extractor that my husband has built onto my station. Um, we had some trial and errors with the cheap typical ones that you find off of Amazon or eBay or wherever you buy them um, where they have the hand rest actually attached to it and um, there were some issues with those and I'll explain why those weren't working for me. Unfortunately I did not save um, the boxes or the original fans so I cannot show y'all um, the comparison because they did get so junky and old and disgusting looking so I just trashed them. Um, so this is my station as you can see and here is where my pre-existing um, hole was cut whenever I did purchase this station. It did have a fan already built into it. Um, I will leave a link down below actually I think I do have a link down below of where my manicure station can be purchased um, so it does come with a dust extractor in there but however mine was broken so that's why I had bought um, two other fans um, I believe one of them was called um, a Miss Sweet fan anyways so those are the ones that I had purchased, a mini one and a bigger one. Um, and I did have it just sitting on top of my desk, but um, as you can see in some other videos or even what you're experiencing, that the bag is getting smushed when it's laying here on your station, so it's unable to expand. And so the um, dust is shooting out from this side and it's shooting out from that side. And that is super annoying. Um, so what I did was removed um, anything that I had sitting on my station and I actually put the fan um, down here. Well, I put, I put it on top of here and I put the bag to where it could expand down below, but yet it was still shooting everywhere. Um, getting all over my lap, getting all over my client's lap and just extremely unprofessional and it drove me crazy. So the next thing that I did was I mounted it underneath here to see if that worked. Well, then it just kept shooting um, in both sides of my station. Again, annoying, messy. I was constantly having to clean out all of my drawers, which this becomes a really pain to have to clean out each side, taking everything out and dusting it. Um, so I had researched and researched and researched and asked on a couple of my um, nail tech groups what kind of dust collectors that they use and the majority of them have been recommending the Valentino. Unfortunately the Valentino is at such a high price that not everybody can afford that. Um, that would be me including. I couldn't quite afford that but I was going to make it work. Um, I showed my husband the fan and he shook his head and said oh no way there's not we're not going to pay for that so he came up with a brilliant idea and built me this okay so here we go I'm going to show you guys um the underside I actually have this um kind of bolted up underneath this hand rest so I'm going to hold this up some as much as I can so you can see underneath so that's what it looks like underneath of course it's very unattractive so he found this at Home Depot and we just stuck that underneath the hand rest or arm rest so that um, it gives my station a really nice look. I actually love the way that looks. Um, so here's the secret you guys. He took a exhaust fan and just mounted it underneath my station for me. He took two pieces of board and kind of mounted the machine itself to the board and then took the board and mounted it in some already pre-existing holes that we had there from trying multiple other fans. 
Um, it does have a hole in the back, so I do have a dust bag on there to collect anything that um, might fall through the fan. And this, I suppose, actually plugs into uh, your ceiling somewhere. So he rewired this so that I would have an on and off switch on my side. Okay, so um, I do think that one of the big issues with the other fans that you typically see on eBay and Amazon is that your dust and nails, um, any of that stuff, your debris, is actually going down into the fan and um, into the fan and then you know, through the fan and into your bag. Sorry, I can't think today. And what I think is happening is it's just getting, you know, clogged up with all that gunk in there. So that's why it starts shooting out both sides and not working properly. So my husband tried to create something um, just like the Valentino. So that's how he came up with that. And then we just put these filters I don't know what kind of filters these are. These are ones that we just happened to find at Home Depot. Um, I couldn't find any that were the size of these two put together. So we just got these smaller ones and I just layer them on top of one another like so. And it covers that hole. So it actually um, has better suction power with these on there. And my dust does not fly anywhere whatsoever. It goes directly down onto this fan. So I'm going to give you guys a little demo really quick to show y'all exactly how well this works. I'm super impressed. I'm so thankful that my husband has made something like this for me um, to minimize all the dust and debris. And I believe that I was possibly getting um, some contact dermatitis from all of the extra debris that was flying around making me break out. Okay guys, so I'm going to uh, set you guys up so you can see how exactly this works and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my fan and use my drill at the same time so it might be quite loud. Um, just bear with me. And it's really not that much louder than um, any other fan would be, honestly. So um, you will see that the dust is not flying up into the camera. It's just gonna be sucking right down into this uh, filter. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see. All right, so let's get started. I am using my um, coarse carbide bit. I'm going to knock a lot of this bulk off of my pinky so y'all can see that it, it's gonna fly right down there. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any colored polish on, so it might be a little bit more difficult for you to see exactly where it's going down. But here we go. I guess I don't know if you can see that, but it is lying down. It is being sucked. Um, as you can see, there's dust on my hand right here, but it is uh, flying this way, the way that I am using my e-file, this way, and down onto my filter. And it's not shooting over here, and it's not shooting over there. It's going exactly where I need it to go. This has been so fantastic because it's not been flying up in my face. I haven't had to wear a mask. And it has not been drenching my clients or myself with all the debris. Okay, so I have removed all of that. Let's go ahead and try this one. As you can see, it does fly up a little bit, but then it gets sucked right down. I really hope you guys can see this. have been through three different dust collectors and none of them have worked. They did work 
I, you know, fairly well at the beginning. And once again, that's because I believe that the dust was clogging up the unit since it was going through the fan and into the bag. But with this one, it's not doing that at all. Okay. Let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna turn this dust collector off now. I mean, look at that. You can see, you can see all of that dust. Let me get, um, you know what, let me just, let me just knock it off right here. Look at that. I mean, there's a lot more actually stuck down in there. And I just uh, vacuum these off. You can take them outside and dust them off, like whatever you want to do. Um, but I do have some extras down in my station for when they do get like too icky or you just replace them every time. It doesn't matter. Um, I will show you guys. Here's um, a fill that I did in my previous video. And that is all of the dust from her nail. I mean, it is amazing. It works so well. So I am so excited that we saved a lot of money and I have a fan that is um, similar to the Valentino. So guys, I just wanted to show y'all this um, because I know a lot of people are looking for dust extractors. I was one of them. Um, I spent, you know, a chunk of change going through different dust extractors trying to find one that worked. So. Um, I wanted to show y'all our idea and how we got it to work. So thanks for watching guys. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions and I will get back to y'all um, when I can. Thanks guys. Bye.